I'm Dan Drake. This is Front Up on Geno TV and Channel 99. With us today is Kara Buzanowski, the Director of Public Works for the town of Nantucket. Thank you. Happy to be here. Thank you, Kara. Uh, we thought it'd be good to just to get an update on some of the things that are going on around town. Sure. Uh, there aren't any, are there? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's too many to too many, count. Too many to keep yes, track of. Yes. It gets hard. We've got such a, um, well, we had a very busy summer. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of mowing and brush cutting and trash. Mm -hmm. uh, those are our primary responsibilities in the summertime right. and as well as responding to natural resources mm -hmm. and the environmental police for um, dead animals and picking up things like that. But um, we have... What somebody calls road pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> um, what, what we um, have been working on quite a bit is the capital plan for roadway improvements. Mm -hmm. We had Beta Engineering do a pavement management plan for us last, um, it was about six months ago. And we're going to uh, implement that as time goes on and they've started they've uh, introduced a new concept and it's actually a um, a management program where you don't necessarily do the worst roads mm -hmm. first you uh, try to keep the the lesser roads l longer term mm -hmm. so that you're not having to do expensive complete renovations mm -hmm. and um, i think it's a really good concept so this means that some of the smaller streets that are not necessarily in terribly good condition now right. are going to be put off is that what I'm, I'm, do Correct. I understand it correctly Correct. yeah. they're going to be the work on them is going to be put off to maintain the more important roads right, right. Um, so one right. of the things that um, we intend to do that hasn't been done on the island before is crack sealing. Mm -hmm. And that uh, doesn't always look the greatest, but in terms of roadway maintenance, it actually prolongs the life mm -hmm. and allows us to uh, seal the crack so that the water doesn't get in and, and cause problems. Mm -hmm. So uh, that as well as uh, a little bit of um, grinding and regrading and, and uh, so forth. And I, I think it's going to be a good way to keep the roads in good condition. Mm -hmm. One of the great things that came out of the pavement management study was that the, the roads are actually in really good condition. They've, uh, they, there's a scoring system that uh, highest score is 100. That's as if you repaved everything instantaneously right. and it's 100. Um, our roads are actually at 84 and the state average is, is in the 60s. Mm. So it's actually pretty good, uh, in spite of the fact that, that uh, there's, there's complaints about different locations. What are the, you've got some capital projects going on. We do. Um, as a matter of fact, the DPW has the largest um, capital program. Uh, I've been working with Mike Burns, the transportation mm -hmm. planner, and we have created a, uh, I believe they're calling it a t transportation program that outlines the uh, bike paths, the sidewalks, the roads that needs to that need to be done and uh, prioritize mm -hmm. those. One of the ones that we're going to be working on is the uh, design for the rotary at uh, Fairgrounds and uh, Old, Old South, South Road. Road. The, uh, uh, I'm sorry, it's a roundabout, not a rotary. And then the roundabout at Bartlett. Can and you explain the difference? It, it, it's basically <laughs> size, size. Um, a rotary um, has a number of vehicles on it at the same time where a roundabout is really only sized for maybe one or two at mm -hmm. a time. So, so the they're one smaller. At, the one that sparks and Hooper Farm Road is a roundabout. A roundabout, the correct. One that isn't a rotary is the one that's at Milestone. That is a rotary, correct, okay. correct, yeah. Um, you've, but immediately, I mean, you've got the pro the project out on the boulevard. Yes, that is and actually underway. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, had a three-year program of a million dollars each to do boulevard, uh, section of Lover's Lane, Okerwa, and Monahan said. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first phase was the boulevard section. Mm -hmm. And um, as uh, people I'm sure have seen, Victor Brandon Paving is out there. Uh, they clear cut good the old area. Good old Victor. <laughs> and they've graded and uh, put the bike path in. And oh, there's it's, a bike path on yes, the boulevard? Yes, yes, yep. It's a huge difference. Mm. If you haven't had a chance to go look, it's it's. Well, I figured uh, I couldn't get it's through. It's eye-opening. So uh, After 5 o'clock, you can get through. Uh, interesting. Yes. Uh, anything else like that this, this well, winter? Well, we, um, we had... Uh, 
Victor Brandon do the Bartlett Road mm -hmm. uh, sidewalk widening, and there's another small piece that they have to do down on the the, uh, the section down by Raceway. They're going to widen that, mm -hmm. and then there's a section of uh, between the bike path and the roadway that's become eroded uh, from a lot of truck traffic, mm -hmm. and we're going to do some Belgian block there just mm -hmm. to try to stabilize that area. Uh, we have the Milk Street bike path that's going out to bid. Mm -hmm. uh, we had it out to bid once, and it came in too high. Too high, so we've eliminated a number of things to get it under budget, and mm -hmm. we're going back out with that. Uh, I think within a day or two. Mm -hmm. uh, the other item that's out to bid right now is the Surfside Wastewater Treatment uh, Plant upgrades. There's a number of mechanical things that have to mm -hmm. happen at the plant so that we can increase the capacity mm -hmm. to accommodate all of the sewer extensions that uh, were presented in the mm -hmm. CWMP. Mm -hmm. So that's going out to bid, as well as the C Street Sewer Pump Station. That's going out to bid as well. Like to rehab that? Rehab it, yeah. 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 And then of course there's Easy Street. Yes, yes, the which whole is coming up bulkhead in a couple replacement. Of weeks. Yes, that's a big deal. Yes. How much is the Easy Street uh, uh, project costing? Um, that's a couple hundred thousand dollars, mm -hmm. and I can tell you that we're very happy to have that done. Mm -hmm. Over the last couple of winters, I'm sure people will remember the number of times that the bricks got actually Lifted bubbled up. up from underneath right. where the water came so in. So part under of this the is some kind of drainage system underneath there that will... It's work. actually a deepening of the bulkhead. The Over time, mm -hmm. the bulkhead had eroded so that the water could come in underneath and this will uh, make it deeper and keep the it's, water it's from steel, coming. It's steel, I assume. It is. Something it is. of that nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very, it's very hardy and a little bit higher as well. It's going to take a couple of months? It is. Um, it, it, it's going to be a very um, quick turnaround for mm -hmm. something of this nature, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it is something that is desperately needed mm -hmm. right there. So that's that's what's on your platter for this winter, basically. Well, we do have well, a couple of other things. Okay, keep going. <laughs> the uh, the town meeting approved 1.5 million for sidewalk mm -hmm. uh, restoration downtown, and we have um, our surveyor out surveying the south side of Main Street. People remember that the north side was rebuilt um, mm -hmm. a number of years ago, but we're going to be d basically removing and resetting the uh, the bricks on the south not side. Not going to substitute any. No substitutions. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, and that's going to go from Fair Street down to uh, Washington. So right. that whole sidewalk will be redone. And then we're Going, going to have a, a design done for Lower Main Street mm -hmm. um, along the parking lot there at Stop and Shop, mm -hmm. trying to widen the sidewalk there on the store side to try to facilitate a little bit of extra mm -hmm. ferry traffic. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, we have to do the design first, and of mm -hmm. course we'll run it by the, the uh, selectmen mm -hmm. being the road commissioners. Right. And, and uh, so there's a little bit of work going on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, uh, uh, I mean, the whole issue of the ferries unloading, the new capacity uh, that they have down there is, is, a, is a challenge. It is, it is. And uh, they didn't really operate at full, full speed. This, no, that's not the right term. They didn't operate at full capacity this summer. Uh, but it's, next year it's going to be a challenge. This, I presume, won't get done by then. I don't anticipate we'll yeah. be able to get it done for next right. season. I think it's going to be a fairly um, intensive. Because, the, I mean, if you, is it going to take away a little bit of the parking lot? I uh, No, no. It, it will be within the, the right of way. Right. But uh, we're talking about moving the parking to the other side. And it's a, it's a fairly wide. The parking on Lower Main on Street. On Lower Main Street. Yeah. Um, it's a fairly uh, wide travel lane. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see how much we can cheat out uh, with the sidewalk mm -hmm. on the, the store side. Mm -hmm. And if we have to narrow up slightly on the parking lot side, I don't want to do that because mm -hmm. it's, it's narrow as it is. But uh, we have to actually get the plans out and, right, and start dimensioning that. and see what's mm -hmm. going to happen. Uh, what over the longer term, longer haul is on the horizon? Well, um, actually, Other than a, couple, <laughs> a, a couple of big changes. Um, as you know, our uh, town engineer left, mm -hmm. and we opted to uh, look for a deputy director, and that position is out uh, right now, and we have a, a 
couple people that we're going to be interviewing in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. Then um, the sewer division is actually separating from the DPW. There's a um, sewer manager position that's being uh, looked at a as we speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, just given the volume of projects that are on the plate mm -hmm. there, uh, it, it's going to be good to have somebody who's focused full time mm -hmm. on that. But it's not part of the DPW anymore. No, it's going to be. It's going to raise to the cabinet level, mm -hmm. um, and that division directly will be to the, to to the town manager. Uh, and manager. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I yeah. hadn't, had not heard that. Yeah. yeah. Um, are the uh, I would assume that the Department of Public Works, along with other town departments and every employer in town, is feeling some impact from the housing situation. We ex have experienced, since I've been here, we've experienced issues with bringing people in, especially in the seasonal right. um, time frame, because they don't have housing. Mm -hmm. We are budgeted for, um, I want to say, 15 seasonal workers, and we've never been able to get more than six. And it's, it's purely housing that's mm -hmm. the problem. And you haven't found a pool of local people. <laughs> not who, yet, <laughs> not who yet. Will, who will do that. It, you know, one of the things that's changed, obviously, over the years here is the season. You know, and in the 60s and early 70s, the season you know, ran from the middle of June to Labor Day or just after. But the young people were able to stay. Yes. Because their schools didn't start. I think a lot of people don't remember that. Some of us are too old, uh, but the uh, you know then you could get a core of workers. Yes, I had some yes. family members who who worked for the DPW in the summer. Yeah, even college uh, students yeah. are gone by the third week in August, right. and and we still have a long season left. Mm -hmm. We uh, our seasonal people come in in April, March, mm -hmm. April vicinity, mm -hmm. and they stay till mid October mm -hmm. um, because that's that a, our that's a long season. Yeah, 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 that's our that's our season. Mm -hmm. Anything else we need to know about what's um, going on out there? And I, um, I had um, my operations manager retire mm -hmm. a year ago, John Smith, who we miss greatly, um, but Richard Moore uh, mm -hmm. stepped into that position mm -hmm. and has been doing an exceptional job. Uh, very, very talented individual, uh, seems to know everybody. Um, mm -hmm. And right now we're looking at getting a uh, general foreman uh, support position mm -hmm. for him and um, we have we have a, a very professional staff and I'm very proud of all the work that mm -hmm. they do they work incredibly hard just as a a, a, a a mark of how much has been accomplished we implemented a work order system in September of last year and since September they've completed over 3,000 work orders and uh, that's like doing one an hour for Every single day of the. Are you still yeah. using that that online system? The, the we actually click and fix or whatever. It was yeah, called? that actually was a free trial, yeah. and we opted not to yeah. continue with it mm. uh, because it didn't coordinate with our work order system, mm. and our work order vendor is working on trying to get us something that we can roll out. Mm. Um, without the town engineer was the one who was kind of coordinating that mm. so um, unfortunately that has been set aside for the moment but that is something we are going to pursue good well karen buzanowski thank you so much for thank being you with it's us a and pleasure bringing us, bringing us up to date thank you